Good morning, boys and girls. Professor Wisebottom, PhD, B-I-B-L-E, here with you again today. As you can see, I'm on the beach for today's adventure, but we won't find who we are looking for here on the sand. We have to go into the water. I brought my scuba tanks with, so let's get ready and jump in. Are you ready? Let's go. Clue number one. I live in the ocean, but despite the fact that my name has fish in it, I am not a fish. Clue number two. I belong to a group of animals called invertebrates because I don't have a backbone. Clue number three. My family tree includes Uncle Urchin and Steve the Sponge. Clue number four. I live in the sea, but I cannot swim. I can crawl very well though. So boys and girls, do you have any idea yet who we are looking for? Not yet? Okay, let's keep swimming and see if we can find who we are looking for. Clue number five. My diet consists of sea snails, clams, and also small fish if I get the chance to catch one. Did you know, when I find food to eat, I push my whole stomach out my mouth and onto my food. Then I produce chemicals that digest my food and finally, I suck up all the juices. Clue number six. In my family, we have carnivores, omnivores, and even detritivores. That last one I'm sure is something new to you. It means we eat dead and rotting plants and animals. Clue number seven. I don't have a brain. I use a system of nerves below my skin to perform the function of a nervous system. This nervous system allows me to sense touch, light and temperature. Clue number eight. There are over 2,000 different family members in my family. And all of us live in salt water. We cannot live in fresh water. Clue number nine. I don't have any blood in my body. So I use seawater instead to transport all the nutrients and food that my body needs to survive. So boys and girls, do you know who we are talking about? Have you guessed yet? What's that you say? Yes, you're right. I am a... Starfish! Well done everyone. Those were some very tough clues. Here are some more facts about me. I don't have feet like you or fins like fish. So I move around using tube feet under my arms. These tubes get filled with seawater and then my muscles make my tube feet move forwards or backwards. I don't have eyes! At least not like you. I have tiny eye spots on the tips of my arms which allow me to tell the difference between dark and bright. One of my coolest abilities is to be able to regenerate. Now that's a big word. It means I'm able to regrow a part of my body if I get attacked or hurt. Here are some family members that are busy doing just that.
Depending on the type of starfish family, we can live from 10 years up to 35 years. Most of us have 5 arms, but we can have up to 50. I can be found in tidal pools, rocky shores, sea grass, kelp beds and coral reefs and even on sandy seabeds 9,000 meters deep. Wow! How amazing was that, boys and girls? There's a whole other world under the water, and how exciting is it to explore? Isn't it wonderful that God took so much time to create this underwater world? Even though we can't see it, all the details and different life forms, He created it all. From the biggest whale shark to the smallest starfish. That's right, boys and girls. The God we serve is an almighty God. And we are so lucky that He loves us so much. So next time you go swimming, look out for me and my family. And remember, the God that made us made you too. That's all for today, boys and girls. See you in two weeks' time. Bye for now.